Hi, I'm Penny Asfield from New York City at the Department of Ophthalmology at the Icon School of Medicine. It's delightful to speak to you today about the DREAM study. Uh, we looked at specifically whether omega-3 by mouth was effective for people with moderate to severe dry eyes. We evaluated over 500 people over a year. Uh, our results are pretty definitive. Basically, you know, we all thought omega-3 was going to work, but we didn't see any difference between omega-3, the active treatment group, and the placebo. So, at the end of the day, they all improve, but not significantly different between the two groups. So uh, a couple of things about this trial. First, it's a big trial. We had 27 sites. Some are from optometry centers, some are from ophthalmology, some are academic, some are private practice. So it's a diverse group of practitioners and therefore your everyday dry eye patient. DREAM is a real world, world trial. We wanted to look at people who are symptomatic and still come in for treatment. And that's the people we entered, over 500 of them. Um, key findings are that the symptoms improved in both groups. It did. They did improve but they weren't significantly different. Uh, the signs, a very modest improvement over the year, but basically they stayed about the same, including Shermer's that changed not at all over the whole year. So we really didn't see any effect that we could attribute to omega-3. Now some people have said, oh, your placebo is olive oil. Maybe olive oil is important. It's only one teaspoon. One teaspoon, a bit less than you put in your salad dressing, and much, much less than is considered um, part of a Mediterranean diet. A Mediterranean diet may be at least uh, 12 times more olive oil, includes nuts and fruits and other things that obviously we did not include in this um, trial. But perhaps more definitively is we had an objective measure of ingredients in olive oil, and they did not change. It's straight line. Whether you're in the active group or the placebo group, oleic acid and some of the other olive oil ingredients did not change over time. So I think the trial really showed what our question was, does omega-3 definitively help for dry disease? And the answer, unfortunately, is no. Um, what are you going to tell your patients? I think you should say, you know, the DREAM trial did not show omega-3 was more effective than placebo. Um, and maybe uh, those individuals who continue to be symptomatic with dry eyes might want to consider other treatments uh, for dry eye disease. So we look forward to a lot more data from DREAM and uh, look forward to sharing all of it with you um, in the coming months. Thank you.